Hey guys, so you've probably seen my video of taking down my crochet braids. This is just the wash day, uh, the following day after that. So the night before, I um, detangled my hair using a wide tooth comb and a fine tooth comb to get rid of all that shed hair um, after having the crochet braids in for four weeks. Then I used undiluted apple cider vinegar in a spray bottle and sprayed my entire scalp because it was very itchy and irritated and I've just been dealing with a lot of problems with my scalp. I put that on the, um, the night before, covered it up after I twisted it and put it in pin curls and slept on it. This is the next day. In the shower, I'll be using the Extra Moist Detangling Shampoo by Four Naturals and Ion Keratin Smoothing Shampoo on my scalp. So I kind of dampen my scalp with a spray bottle of water and you've seen this before, but I just apply the shampoo directly to my scalp and massage it in with the pads of my fingers. This way, um, I'm making sure I get that shampoo right where it needs to be cleaned. The good thing about the Ion Keratin Smoothing Shampoo is that it's not, it doesn't have any sulfate, so it's not going to irritate my scalp again. After I put in the apple cider vinegar, it was kind of tingly, but my scalp already felt significantly better after I woke up. So um, I'm just doing this all over my entire head in sections. I haven't taken out the twists yet just to cut down on the tangles, but it's already been detangled, so I don't have to worry about that. Next, I will get into the shower and wet all of my hair and use the Four Naturals Extra Moist Detangling Shampoo twice on the length of my hair just to wash out any of that product that I've had built up. I use a t-shirt to absorb the water. I've actually had it on for maybe uh, 10 minutes just to absorb the extra water because I really hate it when it's all drippy and everything. And since my hair is transitioning, it's kind of hard to detangle my hair when it's soaking wet anyway. Uh, it doesn't look like it right here in the video, but I was actually quite pleased with the results. I just used the Four Naturals um, detangling conditioner in the shower afterwards. I didn't deep condition because I wanted to see how these two products worked well, worked together, and they worked pretty well. My scalp is incredibly clean. There, there's no irritation. It's not flaking or anything. And right now I'm just kind of kind of finger combing through everything because I, I only have my hair in two big um, sections. So uh, because it was detangled before, it'll be a lot easier for the rest of this wash day. But this is my transitioning hair, 18 months transitioning hair, completely naked, meaning um, there's no product in it. I've just rinsed out the conditioner and I'm just kind of showing you what the texture looks like. I've done quite a bit of trimming periodically. Well, I guess like every three, four months I've trimmed just to get rid of some of the splits and not wanting it to break off. But uh, this is what it looks like so far. This is the front. It's a little tighter than the back. But yeah, 18 months transitioning hair um, and I have a couple relaxed ends, probably only two or three inches on some parts. The back is almost completely natural. There's just a one, one or two inches there. But I don't know my hair type. I don't really try hair typing because the relaxed ends kind of weigh down the hair and it's hard to tell anyway. So for the rest of my wash, or I guess to style my hair, um, I'm going to split it into sections starting with the back. And as you can see, the back is uh, much looser in, curl, in its curl pattern. I'll be using Shea Moisture's Yucca and Baobab uh, Growth Thickening Milk as my moisturizer. So my hair is damp and I'm just putting that through from the roots to ends. Finger combing as I go just to get some of the knots out. And then I take my wide tooth comb starting at the ends and detangle. Usually it doesn't go this quickly but because I detangled my hair before I even got into the shower, it helped a lot. And I did that just because I, my hair had been in cornrows for four weeks. Next, I take uh, the Four Naturals Daily Treatment, another thing I got at the um, expo, and I apply that to my scalp. I just kind of want to see how these products are all going to work together. Um, this product I like a lot. It's uh, got a cool cooling sensation. It, not a very distinct smell. It doesn't smell like much but um, it's supposed to help with growth and problem areas and breakage and everything. And I thought, oh, this will be perfect. I'm transitioning and I've got scalp issues or I think I've got scalp issues. So I really like that product. Next, I'm taking some coconut oil, taking a few drops of that just to seal in the moisture I've just applied to the length of my hair. Um, since my hair is damp, I've sealed in the water with the cream and then I'm sealing in the cream with the oil, kind of like a reverse sort of a reverse LOC method if you've heard of that. Um, but use the comb one more time to evenly distribute all those products through my hair. And then I'm going to twist it up and move on to the next section.
So just one last time, um, I take a section of hair after I've detangled it. I use my leave-in conditioner. I use the daily treatment on my scalp. And then I take coconut oil and seal all the moisture in, twist it up, and then I'm ready to start my blowout. So I take all of my twists from the top of my head and I'm just going to pin those to the top and work through the back. For me, this just works better to blow dry from the back moving forward and that way I can uh, keep everything out of the way while I'm styling. So I start at the bottom of each twist and untwist them. It kind of looks kind of cool even though my hair is still about 50% dry right now. Um, I'm going to take the comb through one more time and Make sure there's no knots because the dryer I use has a comb attachment. I've had this dryer for so long um, and I'll show you that in just a minute, but uh, I'm going to take the two halves and as you can see, the uh, right side of my head is not as thick as the left side or maybe the sections are not straight, but I'm using Chi Silk Infusion as my heat protectant. Just a, um, a little bit of that. It's a very thick serum, so I don't want to use tons of it. I probably used a little bit too much on this section in, in hindsight, but I run that through the length of my hair, focusing on the ends as well. Just kind of smooshing it down, not trying to create more tangles. And I'm taking my Conair Styler um, with a comb attachment. As you can see, there's tape on it because I've had it for so long. And I'm using the lowest heat setting. So. Since there are no tangles, this works pretty well. There's no snags or anything. It dries pretty quickly. And I sped up the video, but I take my time and then I finish each section with the cool shot just to smooth the cuticle. And that's what it looks like once it's been blow dried. And I'm just gonna do the same thing to the next section, apply the heat protectant, comb it through, and then take the styler dryer on the lowest setting, blow dry it, and then finish the blow drying with the cool shot just to smooth the cuticle so it's not all frizzy and funny looking. And I do that all over my head. And um, it's pretty self-explanatory. I've done it this way for a long time. I kind of stopped blow drying my hair when I first started transitioning, but um, the more new growth I have, it's easier to blow dry. Before, when I had only like three or four inches of new growth, it was just it looked weird when I would blow dry my hair because then the roots were all puffy and then the relaxed ends were all lifeless and stupid looking. But um, now majority of my hair is natural. So this is the finished results and uh, I kind of like it. And not, I wouldn't go out like this, but I like that it's big and um, I'll give you guys a, a little bit of a view of the back. It's kind of scraggly because of the relaxed ends, but it comes to about my bra strap and uh, this is. This is the final product. This is the length. Thanks guys for watching. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you are taking out crochet braids or any other protective style, maybe you want to use this method of uh, washing your hair afterwards. But um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Thanks guys for watching. Um, tune in for the next video. I'm going to try and not be a ghost, but I'm in the process of moving and everything is just kind of complicated right now. So um, if you have suggestions, leave them below. Be sure to read the about box for more details and the products I use in this video. And uh, uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.